Hello, this is Matthew Miller with ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer. I posted a couple days ago about the Zoom HD 4.5 update, and I kind of wanted to show you that just real quickly. There was two major things for the Zoom itself. Actually, three for the Zoom itself. One is the video codex, which I haven't tested or, or have anything on. So I'll just show you a couple of the things. Oh, actually, let me go back to the jump in the marketplace here. Go to some music. <clears throat> so the first thing you see here is Pix. This is new, and uh, they analyze uh, some of the music that I've been listening to, uh, and then they use an algorithm to come up with uh, with uh, picks for me. So there you can see, there's some picks. Oh, that looks pretty good, not bad. So there's some picks. Say if I was to go to Billy Joel, tap on that, then it would have uh, some of his in songs and things like that. So picks is one, and then if I go to uh, Let's jump into top songs uh, to pick rock for now. Okay, so there's a song. Um, if I find some songs, I can tap and hold on that song. And now you can see there's a new option, play smart DJ mix. So I could, oops, tap on that. Smart DJ is picking music based upon what I uh, selected there. So we'll let it go ahead and then goes through and then it will start playing it <clears throat> if I want if I have my headphones on and then you can also as you can see uh, add it to your cart to be purchased later and then if you go scroll to the right it has a couple other songs that are in that mix and it does the mix for you based upon the song you selected which is kind of a neat feature and it's a fast way to get to music and find music that's similar and and things like that that might be of interest and uh, I like these features because, you know, a lot of times discovery of music is what sometimes can be a, a bit daunting task, especially on uh, the Zoom Marketplace software. It's not the greatest software for finding things, and it's much easier to do it on the device, and now you can handle all of that stuff right on the device itself, which is, uh, which is nice. Now, another thing that wasn't advertised that I wanted to show you, let's jump into apps. Uh, let's just pick a game. We'll try Lucky Lane's Bowling. So I'll show you this and you can uh, tell me if you see anything different here. So there we go. This is actually a pretty fun game. I don't know if you've played this. Um, you can actually use the device and, and throw it, and not throw it, but swing the device through the air, kind of like a Wii, to actually bowl uh, with the accelerometer on the device. Okay, so there's the game. It started up. And now I'm going to jump back out. Go back to uh, apps again. See if you've seen the trend here that's going on. Let's go to uh, Ferrari, PGR Racing. Here we go. There's a little uh, status of the loading icon. And then we jump into the game. There we go. Loading this again. So have you seen yet on these two games what is different? than previously. Well, I'll tell you, what's different is there's no longer any ads. Microsoft took out all those Kia ads, I believe they were Kia, uh, all those ads that were in there, there was either Kia ads or Zoom Marketplace ads. There's no longer uh, ads in the games. The games are completely free without ads. So that's a nice improvement. Um, not that they really bothered me as it was loading anyway, but uh, it's nice to see them uh, taken out. So that's kind of a surprise addition to the uh, Zune HD 4.5 update. Thanks for watching.